Good afternoon. It is Sunday the 19th. Uh, we got some new chickens on the way. Uh, the wife and kid are on their way to pick them out and get them right now. Um, of our flock this spring, this is what we're left with. Uh, basically all the bantams ended up being roosters and we're in city limits and we can't have roosters. So we're left with these two. Um, that guy is a rooster. He wasn't crowing at first. We knew he was a rooster, but he wasn't crowing. He wasn't making any noise. And that's the rule is you can't have any crowing chickens. You know, there is such a thing as roosters that are quiet, you know. Um, so that's why he's still here. Um, but we're going to have to find a new home for him because he began to crow and he's getting louder and louder and louder now I can hear him all the way through my woods and in my neighbor's garage so I don't want any complaints so um, we got I don't know six or seven new hens on the way best way to introduce new chickens to flock is lock them back up in their coop you know it, it, unless you've got lots of room if you've got lots of room in a big barn yeah go go ahead throw them in the barn and they'll figure out their pecking order and they have enough room to get away from each other if there's you know one that's trying to pick on another um, but here they're in an enclosed run with you know a, it is a, a, a large coop considering the amount of chickens I'm going to have in here, um, but I want them to get along, and this is the fastest way to encourage them to get along. Um, get out of the, there we go, get out of the glare. So I'm separating, I'm dividing the coop in two. New chickens are going to go on that side. Our, uh, these two are going to stay on this side. I will block off the main entrance with some more chicken wire uh, when they're all in here and um, this way they get a chance to spend some time with each other smell each other hear each other and uh, I cut a divider in this chicken wire here so their water dish can slide right in that and then the food dish will go right there and that divides the water and food dish in half um, and they can eat together they can eat out of the same dishes and get used to being in close proximity to, to each other the new hens are a little bit younger than these guys those are uh, almost six months I think the new ones are three or four months um, so I don't want our hen to pick on the new guys. Um, the rooster should prevent most of that. They're, they're good peacekeepers, at least amongst the chickens. Um, but I gotta make one more piece. Oh, this glare is just ruining my shot. I gotta make one more piece, fill in the top, and they can't hop over. Um, and then I'll check back when we got the new chickens. But um, we'll keep them in here like this for about three days. You know, uh, it's very, very temporary jail, uh, but it'll give them a chance to spend some time and get used to each other, and then I'll open up the front door, the older two will go out into the run, and when they're out into the run, I'll take the screws out and take the divider out um, and let the new chickens go on into the run at their own pace uh, and will so you know you can't just force them out the hole because chickens have a kind of a re reverse memory thing they need to go out that hole so they remember how to get back in that this is home so yeah, anyways, I'm going to finish my little border here, and when the new chickens show up, uh, I will show it to them. Morning. Um, so I 
gave them the night to relax. They were hot and frustrated and stressed out uh, by the time we got them home. But they're all in here. Good morning, girls. Here's our two. And there's the new girls. They're pellet silky mixes. Two black ones. Gray one. And three reds. So we'll have a flock of seven hens. And we'll allow the rooster to hang out for a bit just as a peacekeeper and protector um, but he's going to need a new home because he's been crowing and getting louder and louder so yeah he's more he's grumpy I woke him up <laughs> he hasn't been crowing while he's locked in there though I think he's feeling a little emasculated jammed in there with all those hens <laughs> But anyways, thanks for watching. Excited to get some eggs. God bless ya.